progress with using the laser. Uh, in the background, I've been doing little odd bits and pieces, and I found it uh, every bit as good as I hoped it would be. I've also uh, been drawing up some parts for the 4 mil, the EM gauge industrial garret that I've already done some prints for. Um, and I thought that would be uh, the best test, if you like, for uh, lasering chassis, because uh, I have all the information I, I, I want. It's just a matter of drawing it up. But, but of course, it's never just drawing it up, is it? Because you've, you've actually got to make loads of design decisions. Um, and here we are. Now, this is uh, in nickel silver. It's in a couple of different thicknesses of nickel silver, if I can get it in focus. Um, now, um, this is all slot and tab. So it goes together uh, very well with, with no, no cheating, no adjustment. I'll, I'll just knock it apart so we can see some bits and pieces. Um, I may have to put the, the phone down to... To, to do it, let's see. Knock it apart. Da, da, da. There you go. And uh, the frames are independent. After making this video, you can bet your bottom dollar I'll lose some bits of this, but it's it's all right. Now, then, a frame, a lasered frame in, in 4mm. Um, these are um, po uh, about 0.6 mil, just under 0.6 mil. Um, on the laser, now this is the fiber laser, the new fiber laser I've got, 50 watt uh, com marker fiber laser. This took just over two minutes to laser out from sheet. Uh, which was faster than I thought it was going to take. And uh, you get left with some dross, uh, a little bit of slag on the, uh, on the surface of it, which uh, one, I, I just take a, a very fine flat needle file just to, to break off. But the, the edge is absolutely as lasered. I've, I've not touched the edges at all and uh, I can just sort of feel it but I won't be I won't be touching the edge at all. Um, it's really really terribly clean and uh, it's accurate to what I drew. I, I've uh, put calipers on it and it's pretty good. Um, now, you'll also notice some holes. Um, this is because I've uh, lasered the guard iron separately. And I'm going to um, attach them uh, with wire pretending to be bolts um, through these holes. Now, I, um, I forgot to uh, find out how big I'd drawn these holes, but they're, they're really small. They're probably about 0.25 of a millimetre, something like that. Um, so diameter is about half the thickness of the material, maybe a teeny tad more. Um, but they're, they're pretty clean. It's a bit difficult to show you. Um, again, no, no cheating with that at all. Um, slots, no problem, nice and clean. Uh, no cheating. Um, the slot and tab, uh, untouched by human hand for want of a better description, just pops together. As, as you saw, uh, same same with the motion bracket. Uh, that 
that's it. You, uh, you, you get what you see or you see what you get kind of thing. Um, it's really, really uh, nice. Um, so, I mean, I love my Stepcraft CNC. Uh, that has its place. Um, but this little laser is absolutely going to be the, the bee's knees for little stuff like this. Um, I'm, I'm thrilled to bits with it. Uh, that piece will have taken, the, the buffer beam, will have taken, I don't know, about a minute to uh, cut out. Frames just over two minutes. That probably much the same. So it's a it's a quick process to cut in these sizes. The bigger it is and the thicker the material, uh, the the longer it takes, of course. Um, but for for what we're doing, it's lovely. The downside, of course, is it takes a it takes a, a long time to draw. But um, if you're making these things by hand. You've got to draw it up one way or another anyway. You've got to know what you're fabricating. So you've got to define it uh, and draw it up. Um, other than that, no real, no real problem. Um, it, uh, I've, I've not yet discovered a downside uh, to this uh, in, in model making terms. Uh, at all. Uh, like everything else, it's a learning curve, uh, but but that's absolutely fine. Of course it is. It's it's a it's a new technology. Uh, I have already lasered the uh, guard irons, incidentally, and they've come out fine. The only problem is is um, um, losing them, uh, I, and I shall attach them and solder them. Um, before I try bending them to, to, to shape. So, there we go. Thought you'd be um, interested. Um, I did also uh, do a test piece of uh, lasering some silver, um, which it lasered beautifully. Uh, if anything, uh, a, bit, a bit more cleanly even than nickel silver. So, you know, very interesting.